Okay. It'll save you a lot of time. And what do I always say about time? Well, you say there's not enough time in a day. God, I don't feel like working on this shit box tonight. <laughs> Long day at work. Okay, anyway. We are, uh... We're gonna wire in an oil pressure sensor tonight. Um, I might have talked that about that in another video. The oil pressure sensor that was in it is from the O2 or O3 Yukon XL that I got the harness out of, and it is a single wire. And that single wire, I do believe, is for an idiot light and not really oil pressure, like data logging oil pressure. So, I have a new sensor and I have a cut 14 harness that we got with a used motor. They cut it right at the computer. So I have all the pigtail ends. That's why I got all the uh, the new injector plugs connectors from. So uh, I'm going to get to taking the sensor out. We're going to put the new sensor in. We're going to go get that connector. And we're going to wire it into the computer. And hopefully it works. It's a crap shoe, people. It's a crap shoe. pieces which is all right Here's a sensor. Let me uh, show you the plug end. They've changed over the years. This is the bigger one. See how big it is? They had the big goofy one like this. This is the single wire. It's only got one terminal in there. Right at the top here. And then they had in like the... Oh, shit. Five, maybe six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelves, thirteens. They had a three, three connector, but it was tiny. It was like three eighths by three eighths. This one's big and fat and round. I like it. Looks good. <laughs> so we're gonna take a little. This has a gasket that's built built into it. You know, it's trapped, captured. They do call that captured. I'm still going to put a little thread sealing on it. Because I'm a worrywart. 
and I don't want no uh, problems. I wear glasses now. Big deal. So do a lot of people. I can see things in a whole different perspective now. There. Steam it on. There we go. Started. Now let me get a the correct socket. There's a couple different oil pressure sensor sockets. This is the big one. It's huge. Look how big that one is. And then there's this guy. So this is the one. We need a small one. Okay. Oh. One of the trickiest parts of this interior design is to have three different tones. Trim, red leather, and okay. black leather. And to get them all to match. Let's grab that ratchet. Panel, that's going to be the biggest trick. Swivel and extension. We should these trim pieces so they match the contour of the panels. Now we're just going to line them up oh. so we're going to line the holes. Tight enough. Alright. Now, I'm going to get those, the connector, and I'm going to pause you guys while I do that because it's buried in the back of the bed of the truck under a bunch of crap. Um, so I'll be back with you in a second. Okay. So I went to that harness, and I, uh, I was a little patient, and I, uh, cut the harness open, nice and easy, took all the loom off, and I got the whole harness. So I think I'm just going to have to put the... PCM terminals on here. Put some loom on it. Watch out, cut it to fit first. And I won't have to do any crimping or splicing or nothing. Sweet. So let's see. Should be plenty long enough, I think. <laughs> Should be wearing gloves right now. Cover that cut up, but. Oh well. First thing I want to do here, though, so hold on. We gotta pop the CPA out because these things are a bitch. There. Just these style ones. They're a pain in the ass to get to put up and then press the, the lock release. Ow. Dang my noggin. Okay. So. Look at that. Perfect. That is perfect. But the problem now is, is I don't know if the colors are the same. So, I'm going to have to check the pins. Wow, that looks nice and easy. Okay, so I have to look at the wiring schematic to make sure it's correct. I'm gonna pause you guys for a minute while I go get my laptop. Okay, so took me a little bit. Old Trapper, what's your? But uh, I uh, 
finally found my uh, wiring diagram. What a pain in the ass. <laughs> it doesn't help that I don't want to be out here tonight. <laughs> so, alright, anyway. Enough belly aching. What I'm doing right now is uh, prepping the wires to put PCM terminals, crimp them on. And uh, I found where we got to put these terminals in the connector. So. What are we supposed to do? I'll tell you what I do. Okay, so. Now, gentlemen, hustle. Does your doorbell do that? Ours does. Get tough so on now. The Ring Video Doorbell. Keep your home and your neighborhood safe. Available at Ring. These are tiny. You've had quite the career. Yeah, I've had some pretty prestigious jobs over the years. News producer, executive transport manager, and a beverage yeah, distribution Yeah, it's nice to have the right tools to do the freaking job, I'll tell you that. Software firm. Wow, you've been at it a long time. The thing is, I like working. What if my retirement plan is, I don't want to retire? Then let's not create a retirement plan. Let's create a plan for what's next. I like that. Get a plan that's right for you. TD Ameritrade. All right. I don't like that. Uh, so bad, but that looks good. Okay, there's one. As it turns out, just not my lucky day, I guess. That's all I need. But thanks for that. The hood is actually riding across the top of the pulley here, which doesn't right. want to work. Here comes our next step is to pull all of that back off and cut it some more. Our black one. I've got one more adjustment I can make. It'll drop this thing about three quarters of an inch, and it'll put it right where we need it. I think I am going to put a little dab of solder on these. It doesn't matter how much room you have in these engine bays. You know, when you start throwing an extra component on it, like a charger or something, it's going to need some room, and it's going to need a lot of room. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, just to ensure. Well, they are crimped pretty good. Some of them are crimping a little weird. So they're crimping, but they're just a little weird. So yeah, I think I am gonna. Put a little dab of solder. Oh. Well, it won't hurt. Yeah, that's a good thing. Trust me. It won't hurt. Alright, so. I'm gonna pause you guys for a minute and then I'm gonna get the connectors taken apart and then we'll take it from there. Okay, so. We got to uh, loosen our battery a little bit. That slide over. Uh, there. Let's connect it out. Let's see. <laughs> Our green connector needs 58. The tan and white. Uh, we got a really big day on this Nova. We got over here my buddy Rick Cleveland. So our tan and white's here. And we restart the body process. We found a few areas that were just flaking off. 
right there is okay. We didn't want to take any chances as far as that goes, so we're going to make sure that everything is done. Five, six, like ten, fifty-eight. First, we got to take this thing off. Top off. Last month, you need to have had that gun about ninety degrees at angle and fourteen inches away from it. That way, you don't get some metal because it's coming out there at hundred thirty pounds of pressure. All right, shorty. Right here. We're going to get it, get it all finished up. Well, I yeah. love it, man. I love it. Oh, damn. Man. I got some more goodies coming. Oh, the, man. Push through. There we go. Special delivery. I cannot wait for you to see how solid this car is. I cannot wait to see it either, baby. Let you go. Oh, yeah. Lincoln. Well, hell yeah, man. What kind of, what kind of question is that? Oh, Lincoln? Is that a Lincoln? I swore we wouldn't do another Cadillac or Lincoln. You said that more than once. I'm going to squeeze one more in, brother. One more. It's six Lincolns, one of those cars on the list. Straight back, sir. You got it, brother. Yeah, the list is long. You looking good, Mike? Who can blame him? That's his passion. I mean, come on. A little bit more, sir. A little bit more. Yeah, you can't narrow it down to one car. That's a wide brush. Yeah. It's a very wide brush. That's probably good, brother. There we go. Well, hell yeah, sir. It was a hard to push through that weather pack, I'll tell you that. Okay. Damn car's gonna make us a liar. Go ahead. It's coming. That's something that gets tired. I'm more impressed with the battery than anything. Damn. Hey, man, the pack works, man. Really all right, cool. now our right, next is uh, our gray going into spot seven uh, on our blue connector. It's kind of shade. It's just a rare opportunity. Elvis bought one of these right off the lot. I mean, the king man had this exact color. And it was his favorite in his collection. So spot seven. Hey, Shorty, if you're to name this car, what would you name it? The king. <laughs> the king. <laughs> it is, brother. The only thing missing was a peanut butter and banana sandwich in the front seat. Let's go to work. We got a lot of work to do in this note. We have popped these covers off. To look at it. So we're pretty excited for him to see it. We got to do some mock up on it. We're going to get it fully assembled with car still and bare metal. And uh, hopefully, we can get it wired up, plumbed up, and started. How you pop these connectors without breaking them is that there's two. The connectors here, there's two spots on the side. Nice. They're, they're white. You got to push them in. What I like to use is a screwdriver. Little pocket screwdriver. And you usually can just slip this right in there. We're going to go ahead and show the car to Eric and Bear Metal. You know what I mean? Let's hear it, let's hear it, bro. Yeah, fingers back, brother. This is what, you know, all the hard work, all the crying and whining comes to, you know? This is my favorite part. We get to fire it up. This Nova sounds incredible. The gray I mean, the thing is just goes into the blue connector. Spot number seven. It's just rattling the walls. I mean, this thing sounds sounds weak. That's good. Boy, just a little Just listen to it, you know, just rumble like that. I mean, I got chills talking about it. Jesus. This weather pack is brutal to push through. This reveal is really, really important to us. Jesus, that was brutal. Okay. And the next one in all its glory in bare metal. Has got to go. It's beautiful. Spot 63. Well, first thing when I walked through, I saw the spoiler so that's and the stance. Perfect stance. I've never seen an amazing example. Great. So it would be cool, Eric, for you to see it oh. kind of in the raw. Because a lot of times when yeah. we show people these cars, it's covered up with paint. Oh, you're showing them the bare metal, that's kind of nerve wracking. Oh, I know what that is. You're at the beach with your Speedo on, and <laughs> things better be right. We talked about spoiler. So we came up with this design, just kind of subtle, but just enough to make the car okay. that much different. For the I need to check and one thing. Part next to it. Absolutely. We did the build tail lights. We I'll be right back with you. Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah, that was a pain in the ass. Um, I don't know if it's going to work, because I had to steal low reference from uh, another spot. Will you give me a number? 
because the low reference that was in here was being used for a coolant um, temperature sensor. So I don't know if it's going to work, but I do believe that low reference is low reference. It don't matter where it comes from at all. It's all low reference data. So it, uh, it should be fine. So uh, I'm going to take a second here. I got to... Uh, I was out of a Corvette, man. Grab my um, laptop, plug in, and uh, we'll see if it works. <laughs> so I'll pause you. Okay. So, I got the wiring done, I got the loom in, I got the... I got it tied into a low reference. It's not the low reference according to... The wiring diaphragm, uh, diagram, but diaphragm, <laughs> but um, low reference is low reference. It just uh, all the gauges read off low reference. It's just a different data. It's a data stream that they read. All the gauges read a different data, so off that one line. So I got HP tuners hooked up here, and I have the gauges laid out. Now I'm gonna test it and see if it works. The Bond speed wheels came in. Damn, man. Pretty sure I just brought us a Bond speed wheel. Works perfect. Let's get him buttoned up. We'll put it on the ground. See what it looks like. Got 50 pounds on idle. Yeah, it's right here. Granted, it's cold, but could be a really bad situation. These wheels. 50 pounds. 50 pounds is 50 pounds. Times are busy right now. We're trying to get this car done. There's a video for you. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. 